Hi everybody, it's Miss Sarah. Thanks for joining me for a learning launch pad. You know it's learning launch pad because it's Wednesday and I'm wearing my letter shirt and I have my letter cards. And so let's start and by singing the alphabet song. A, ooh, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All these letters have sounds they say. Let's see who we meet today. Nice job. So we learned A says ah, right? A says ah. B says b, 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 b. C says k, k, k. D says d, d, d. E says eh, eh. So we must be up to letter G. This is big G. This is little G. And G says G, like in gorilla and game and go and gum. So the gorilla grunts for grapes. Go, go, gorilla grunts for grapes. You guys say guh, say G says guh, 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 G says guh. All right, so that's our first letter's letter, G, and it says guh, guh. Next letter is letter H. Big H, looks like kind of part of a ladder, little H. Goes over like that, and H says as in ha 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 ha, like in horse and hot and happy and high. So hold your hat and say hi to the horse. Can you guys do that? Let's hold our hat and say hi to the horse. So H says, what letter is this? H, letter H, and it says, All right, our third letter for today is another vowel. We learned A, it says ah. E, says ah, 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 ah. I, here's our big I and our little I. Sometimes it says I, like I love you, like I like to read, as in I like learning about letters, I. But other times it has another sound, it has a short sound, and it says I, like itch. So itch, 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 itchy, itch, in, I, it's gonna say I. So I says I, the inchworm had an itchy, itchy, itch. You guys say that? The inchworm had an itchy, itchy, itch. So I says I, this is letter I, it's a vowel, and it says yeah. Awesome job. So those are our three letters today. And guess what? I have a story and it is Curious George and the hot air balloon. Do you see any of our letters there? Do you hear any of our letters there? And hot mm, and air and a oh, balloon but we learned b before b and k curious now this g is a little different because it doesn't say g it says ja so sometimes g's will also say ja most of the time it's going to say g it's curious george and the hot air balloon this is george George was a good little monkey and always very curious. 
He was on a trip with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. It was the end of their vacation and they wanted to make just two more stops. They were in South Dakota, of course. They went to see Mount Rushmore. George had never seen anything like it. These are the faces of four great presidents, a tour guide said. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. One, two, three, four presidents carved into the big side of the mountain. It's pretty cool. Look, said a girl, there's something crawling on George Washington's head. The tour guide explained that some workers were making repairs to the faces. George watched the workers. Then he saw that a, a helicopter fly by. Hmm, helicopter. Helicopter fly by. It was taking tourists for a close up look. George thought that would be fun. Maybe we can take a ride later, the man said, but now we need to leave or we'll be late for the hot air balloon race. So they got back into their little blue car and before long they came to a whole field full of hot air balloons. George was delighted to see such big balloons. He liked their spots and stripes and stars, but his favorite had a picture of a bunny on it. Do you spot it? There it is. One balloon was not up yet in the air. Its owner was hurrying to fill it as a newspaper reporter took pictures. The man with the yellow hat watched the balloon on the ground, but George watched the balloons in the sky. He was curious why didn't they fly away? Then he saw the ropes. A rope is a good thing to keep a balloon from flying away, thought George. A rope is a good thing to climb. Sometimes when a monkey sees something to climb, he can't help himself. He has to climb it. George thought he would climb just one rope and then quickly climb down. But when George climbed up, there was no way to climb back down. The rope had come undone and there was only one place to go. Up, up, up went the balloon and George went with it. George flew higher and higher. The people below grew smaller and smaller. The man with the yellow hat was tiny. The newspaper reporter was too. And the owner of the balloon wasn't very big, but he was big enough for George to see that he was angry. George felt bad. He didn't mean to take the balloon. He didn't even know how to fly it. As the wind whisked him away, he wished he had someone to help him but he was all alone. George climbed into the basket and when he looked around, he found he wasn't alone after all. The race was on and he was in the lead. Together, the balloon flew across, the balloons flew across the field and over the forest. Now George was having fun, but before he knew it, George was alone again and all the fun was gone. Flying by himself, high in the sky, George was frightened. How would he ever get down? He wondered, oh, if only he hadn't climbed that rope. Suddenly, the wind changed and George saw something familiar. He was excited. Someone was sure to help him now. In fact, there was someone right in front of him. Who was in front of him? It was one of the workers. He was stranded on George Washington's nose. George was so happy to see the worker, he didn't notice how happy the worker was to see him. Slowly, the balloon floated closer. Would it come close enough? It did. The worker grabbed onto the rope and climbed up. Soon, he was in the basket with George. Hurrah, George was rescued. Hurrah, the worker was rescued too. Huh, see that other H word? Hurrah. They sailed up over George Washington's head and landed safely in a tree. Soon the whole crowd came to rescue them both. There's the helicopter. The man with the yellow hat was happy to see George. The reporter was glad to have such an exciting story to report, and the owner of the balloon wasn't angry anymore. Everyone had seen the rescue. George was a hero.
After the workers thanked him, George got a special treat. He got to ride in a helicopter. The helicopter flew George and the man in the yellow hat once more past the president's and then back to the little blue car. As they drove away, the man said, that was some vacation, George. George agreed. It was an exciting vacation, but they were both very glad to go home. That's Curious George. And you know where you can see more Curious George stuff is on PBS. And PBS is a partnership with, with our launch pad. So in your packet, you can pick one of these up at the library. We have letters G, H, and I, and what they say. I'll tell you what book I read today. And there's some activities. You can practice counting with your hands. One, two, three, four, five. There is, oops. Butterfly, hide and seek. It's a coloring page. And, and there's also gonna be some little pages here where you can practice writing these letters. You guys wanna practice writing these letters with me real quick? So, we're going to practice skywriting with our hand. And what was our first letter? Letter G. Here's our letter G. And G says, G, G, G. Every once in a while, it'll say, J, like in George. But a lot of times it's saying, G, like good and go. So, our G, the big one, we go a big loop around, cross it. Big loop around, cross it. Little g, around, down, and up. Around, down, and up. So g says g, g says g, g says g. All right, what's our next letter? H. H.